what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everyone's doing good i hope you guys are doing awesome uh, for today's video i feel like i want to do something a bit bright was that a fucking dog dog don't fuck with me for today's video i feel like i want to do something bright and colorful seeing that we are we are into the like summer season and all of that and everyone's wearing off the shoulders and crop tops and swanters and swanters as you guys know i don't really like to do a long intro so without any further ado let's get started i already went ahead and primed so for foundation i'm gonna go back in with the yardley stay fast 24 hour foundation this baby really did some things to me in my previous video so i'm actually gonna keep using her i think i forgot to mention the color name um i'm in the shade lm3n that's light medium neutral and it's a bit warmish for me but i anyway i like my foundation a bit warm on me because when i use a concealer i use a shade lighter so that sort of balances out and like brightens everything up next i'm gonna go in with concealer and i'm gonna go in with my mac studio fix concealer in mc30 she's she's almost empty To set everything in place, I'm going to go in with my Yardley Translucent Buff Powder. Okay, base is set, eyes are primed, time for the rest of the face. And I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzing powder. My MAC Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden. To contour using this Revlon Pressed Powder in Cappuccino. I know this is what I use like every single time, but this is what truly really works for me. I will use something else once I find it or once I actually uh, go look for it. blush I'm gonna go in with this Inglot blush in number 124 um, I know she's a bit like maroon looking but I feel like with the look that I'm going for um, I kind of want to use that <coughs> excuse me and I feel like it will give me just that redness that red undertone of a blush that I want Next, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Blossom Glow. Can you guys see the texture like of my face? Like it's so rough looking. If anyone can recommend anything that would help like break down this rough texture of my skin please holler at me because I don't like the way that it's looking it's looking very rough I'm a, I like a smooth face you know what I mean so excuse for my texture okay now that the face part of this mess is done it's time to move on to eyes and I'm gonna dip into these eyeshadows right here these are all from Inglot and to start off I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow that is number 283 and I'm gonna put her in my crease as a first transition shade I 
feel like with this eye look i really want to take it there i really want to like pull her out nicely because like i feel like i want to be dramatic again as always <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with this burgundy brown type of eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that also in the crease. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go off camera to cut my lid and then I'll be right back. I'm back. So now I'm going to go in with this shade also from Inglot in number 281 and I'm going to apply that on the inner part of that cut lid. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Cosmetics Off Tropic Hasta La Vista eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go in with that yellow one right next to that orange color. Now I'm going to go back in with that Inglot palette and I'm going to use the first shade that we used in the crease on the outer corner. Now I'm going to use eyeshadows 281 and 282 on the lower lash line. So if you can't remember what shades those are, that is the first shade and that orange shade. So I'm going to do that on the lower lash line. I'm quickly going to take my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoldering Satin and I'm going to do a thin line on top where I cut my lid. So listen, um, I went off camera to do the finishing touches on the eyeliner not the eyeliner the glitter over there and then i did mascara and false lashes and then i did lips and i realized that i wasn't filming so the lip color that i went in with today is this one from clinique this is the chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color balm in 06 romiest rose well, there you have it that is it for today's look i'm absolutely loving for this the only thing that i absolutely hate is the texture of my skin that's looking a bit rough and there's birds again here hi birdie i really enjoyed creating this look for you guys and i hope you liked it too if you did you know what to do you need to like this video and give a subscribe <laughs> to my channel once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and tuning in. Hopefully, I'll see you all on the next one.